Papaha Naumokuakea um, is both a biologically rich and culturally sacred place. E vai aloha kama kanila ea, e ho vai loa ke alahula la ea. There's about 57,000 pounds of marine debris that washes ashore within this part of the archipelago annually. Midway sits right in the uh, subtropical convergence zone and it's midway as well as all the other northwestern Hawaiian islands and what happens is it acts like a fine tooth sieve pretty much and so these plastics are just accumulating on the beaches and during El Nino years like this year that subtropical convergence zone is closer to the island so we tend to see more plastic washing up during El Nino years. So not only are our beaches getting it but also our albatross will bring it and feed it to their chicks. So we estimate about five tons of plastic being brought to Midway every year just by adult albatross feeding it to their chicks. Eho mai, eho mai, eho mai, eho mai. Because of that, when they're regurgitating to feed their chicks, they're not only regurgitating the squid eggs or the food, but all of what's attached to it. And if there's a sharp piece of plastic, it can perforate their uh, intestines or their esophagus. So that is a very real possibility as well. I would say that there isn't a bird that doesn't have some. It's just that some get more than others, and the ones that get more than others actually, um, obviously, then fill their bellies up with plastics instead of food and eventually either choke or just don't have enough room for actual nourishment and perish. <laughs>